Tell you what, everyone always talks about uh, trying to get their tortoise to eat weeds, but here's a tortoise eating weeds mixed with more dried and ground up weeds. Like that's just crushed mallow uh, and soaked and rehydrated. Just literally the definition of like quick and easy feeding. Everyone's always making videos about, oh, I have no time to feed my tortoise. I just don't understand. Don't have time to pick weeds. Don't have to, I, I just don't understand the no time argument. Uh, why you would get a 100 year pet if you have no time? Why did you get a pet if you have no time, period? Why did you get a pet you can't provide needs for? That's my argument. That's my uh, question for all those people that just love to just complain on the book of faces about uh, how tough it is to be a Taurus owner, yet they want to be an exotic pet owner at the start of that? I don't know. But introducing my couple rescue, I'm not gonna say rescue actually, these are just the uneducated owners. So you get rough shells, overgrown beaks, and this one here has got a real case of the MBD, but we will be working on that. Uh, hopefully we can just, this is number two MBD tortoise of mine now, so. Canada, I don't know, Natural Tortoise Keepers Canada was not a rescue agency, but this one here, I just couldn't say no to. And the past owner is not to blame. He's actually a lovely character, one of my favorite characters. It's uh, it's the six owners before him, right? Like, I'm the eighth owner of this tortoise, and, like, as you can tell, it shows, like, he's lightweight. Overgrown beak, top and bottom. Pyramided shell, light, soft. What else? He's definitely not lethargic or lazy. This guy's a lunatic. I named him Rev because uh, he's just so amped up. So stay tuned. I've trimmed his beak. I've been. Uh, he's actually for sale because he's so amped up. I just simply couldn't keep him with my other male. So if you're interested in him, just kind of maybe send a message or. Uh, Give me a shout. He's on Kijiji also, underneath my name. But I guess the title of this video would be How Easy It Is to Introduce Your Tortoises to Feed for Free or Rescue Tortoise Loves Cuttlefish or don't keep your tortoise in a vivarium and feed it lettuce or they'll look like these guys. But thank goodness, Marilyn and Rev, I uh, can give some correction. And whoever Rev goes to, because he can't stay here forever. He can stay here. He just can't stay here forever. Uh, hopefully, I can just share some of my knowledge with them. And then uh, Marilyn, she's going to be here forever. And I don't care if she turns into a, a darn brontosaurus with those scutes. I'm going to love her forever. I just changed their water there and uh, tossed them in here. So this video is, I don't know, live feed 10,000. Your pal Hobson Scotch signing off.